a fetus is literally a parasite. Like it is sucking the life from a mother. Yeah. Every single day. Like that's literally what happens. That's not even like. Not a mother, I'm guessing. Like Okay, latest installment of Change My Mind is actually kind of a sequel. Uh, we're revisiting the topic of abortion. I'm pro-life, Change My Mind. The first one was an hour long with one person. Some people said they'd like to see more of a mix. So this was at SMU. It was part of a five-hour Change My Mind marathon. And you get to see what happens with three different people. What well, One person is actually return visit. Some people change their minds. Some people at least rationalize their positions. And we kind of find some middle ground. And then some people are just confrontational no matter what. I hope this helps you. And uh, enjoy. Alright, change your mind. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name, sir? Pablo. Nice. Pablo, nice to meet you, Pablo. Do you want to hold the microphone? Sure. Okay. Can you just hold like below your mouth about here? Yeah. Okay, good. That became a point of contention earlier, and I don't I don't wanna for you to not be heard. So I am pro-life. <laughs> and I'm I am willing to hear the other side's argument and have my mind changed. Um basically I'm pro-choice uh for more because of personal liberty, you know? Okay. Um, I think that if in an instance where, I don't know, a woman is raped and sure. she is, uh, she gets pregnant, I think that she should have the right to abort the baby. If Why? she doesn't want to have it. Why? Because um, I think, number one, it's her body mm -hmm. and it's her life. And, um, you know, without her, there wouldn't be a baby in the first place. So I think that's why, you know. What if it's not her body? What if she's aborting another body? Well, then that would be murder. It would. But, um, you know, it really comes down to at what point is it another body? Yes, well, you also used the word life. You said it's her body, it's her life. So obviously the big disagreement, I'm pro-life, I couldn't care less what a woman does with her body. Right? They can get the god-awful eyebrow tattoo that leaves them a scar for 50 years after that. <laughs> it's their prerogative. But when it's another body inside of your body, when it's another life, that's a violation, of course, of the non-aggression principle. So that is the only question that really needs to be answered, right? If we're going to find common ground. Yeah, yeah. No, and I agree. I mean, I... I, I Sorry, I, you can just keep it on you because I've got a mic on me. So you, oh, don't, you okay, don't... I appreciate it, though. You're playing reporter for me. <laughs> China. Pablo, Channel 5 News. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think that um, there's, a, there's a certain point where... Okay. It's, it is uh, some, somebody else's body and not, I mean, okay. it, re it really all comes down to um, at what point a woman is going to abort. You know, if she's going to abort, you know, eight months, you know, pregnant, then I think that right there would be wrong. Why? I would agree with you because um, I think that that's closer to being an actual human being, you know, an, uh, another person. Okay. Uh, um, you know, when it's three so, weeks and it's a cell or little membrane or whatever, I mean, I, I don't know about biology, but um, I mean, when it's not an actual body, okay. you know, when it doesn't have legs, you know, it doesn't have actual fingers, I, you know, I think that at that point she can decide. Okay. Can I ask you a couple questions? Yeah. It's okay. Like I said, you can keep the microphone. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hear me. Um, you said maybe eight months, maybe not three weeks, right? You said, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about biology. Yeah. But you agree that if it is a life, you don't have the right to take that life. Yeah. Okay. So we agree that you don't have the right to take another life. And you've conceded that you're not a biologist, so you don't know the exact, the exact sort of prenatal developmental stages, right? I don't, but there are people who do. Okay. And, uh, okay. So but I'm just saying for our conversation here, I'm not either. Okay. So let me ask you this. Um, we're going to do kind of go through the philosophical idea first, and then we can get to the medical. Let's say you're uh, tonight driving home from school and um, you see someone in the road and you're about to hit them, but you have enough time to stop. Would you stop? Yeah, of course. Why? Because uh, I don't want to kill somebody. <laughs> okay, exactly. Okay, no, that's a good answer. If not, we'd have to have you written up. <laughs> um, let's take that same scenario. You're driving home tonight and you, so you see someone walk out in front of the car. You're not entirely positive, but you're pretty sure that could be a person, and you do have the ability to stop. Do you stop? Is this a trick question? Um, no, it's okay. not. Uh, so, so it's not a person? It's no, no, it, 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 you're, you're pretty sure it's a person, but it's okay. a little fast and blurry. You have enough time to stop. You're not sure that it's a person, but you think it's a person. Do you stop? Yeah, I would stop for anything. Okay. Why? For, um, because I don't want to hurt my car. 
Oh, for real? Because of your car? <laughs> you know, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, that's fair. I see a branch and I try to evade it. You so you, yeah. they can just use you and a Kia at Planned Parenthood and job done. <laughs> um, so you would stop, right? You're yeah. saying because why? You, obviously not your car. You wouldn't want to hurt. Yeah, or kill a human being. Kill whatever it is, you know. Okay, even if it's a dog or something. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Anything, so. so even in the second instance, where you weren't sure you erred on the side of life. Yeah. You erred on the side of not killing. So in this case where you've conceded, you don't know where life begins. You don't know if it's a life or not. Shouldn't we err on the side of life and not terminating life? Um, yeah, we, we, we should. Um, and on that side, I do agree with you. But I believe that, you know, again, I think it's more about personal liberty. And, you know, when it comes down to a woman's body, I think that a woman should have the right to Well, hold on, but if it's, but we're talking body. about another body, right? We both, both agree a woman can do anything. This is, this is the issue. A woman can do anything she wants with her own body. Yeah. If a woman wants to amputate herself and a doctor says, I'll do it, and this actually occurs now. These people identify as amputees. This is an, a common practice. <laughs> I'm fine with it, right? So we need to frame in the argument fairly and accurately. No one who's pro-life is telling a woman what to do with their body in any other instance outside of when it directly ends the life of another person. So, it's the burden of proof is on you. Why is it not a life? Well, I mean, I, I don't... I, I wouldn't say it's not a life, but I also, you know, would say it's an actual human being. Like, that, I mean, it, it, I, I'm not really for... You know, actually killing a baby at, at, the, at the stage where, you know, it's an actual baby. But when, you know, like I said, when, if it's a cell or whatever, I mean, I... So when, when is it okay? I would say three weeks, probably. One month, two months, three months. At the point where... Three months. It actually has, like, little toes. That's when... Okay. Probably. So before we get to that, because that's medical, um, what makes a human... What, what makes... A human being. What is a human being? A brain. A brain is a human being. Yeah, like once this has a basically a formed brain, at that point, I believe it is wrong to kill okay. a baby. But so before that, what defines a formed brain? Uh, uh, I I couldn't tell you that. I've well, we just threw out brain analogy. very definitively. So what determines a brain? You mean a fu you mean a, a functioning brain, cerebral capabilities? Um, yeah, or I mean just the the actual. Um, <laughs> membrane, the actual, you know, pink stuff, you know, once they, they start forming that or have it, that, at that point, I believe, um... Well, that's forming immediately, because the tissue forms into a multitude of ways, right? So then you would have to say, as soon as conception is zygote at that point, because it could be potentially brain tissue. Yeah. So you can't, that, that doesn't really hold up to scrutiny. So you're saying brain, so it would have to be a developed brain at that point. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to d d differentiate between tissues. So a developed brain, this would assume cognitive abilities? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, obviously, this isn't my argument, but it's very common. It goes back. Uh, it goes back hundreds of years. But Ben Shapiro's used it. What if I'm in a coma? I'm brain dead. What if my brain doesn't function? Does that make me less of a person? Is it less of a life? Can you kill me? Um, n n not necessarily. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't. You know. Kill you, you know, but you know. <laughs> Seems like you might want to with your car, as long as someone waxes it afterward. <laughs> well, then, okay, not as good. Um, but honestly, um, you know, at, at that point, that certain situation would not be okay because, um, you know, it, at one point it was life, and there is still hope that he can wake up one day from the coma. Ah, so now we're dealing with the potential of life. Yeah. You see how that short, you know where this goes, right? Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. so you said brain, and you said, well, not really brain or functioning brain, because even if it's a non-functioning brain, it matters there's the potential of it being a functioning brain. So now we're back to square one. That would, of course, apply to the baby growing in the womb. It's a life by your definition. Yeah. Why do you have the right to kill? Well, I... Not you, I, a woman. I, yeah. yeah, I would say um, a woman has a right because, you know, it basically comes down to it being her body, you know? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. You just said that it was another body. But another life. It's inside your body. If somebody, if somebody were inside my body that I do not want inside, I think I should, I should have the right to get him out. So every time you're having sex with a woman or man, they have the right to kill you because you're inside their body? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, oh, okay. Yeah, well, they, yeah, they actually would have the right. They would have the right to kill you? 
or to get me out. I mean, if she doesn't want me inside her body, I think she should have the right to get me out, right? Right. Whoa. You should have the right to get you out. If the woman, I'm not saying you're, a, let's get beyond, you're not raping the person. Okay. Okay, all right, Pablo, I don't think you're a rapist. Okay. I think you're a little, little bit shifty with the microphone, but far from a rapist. Okay. If you're having sex with someone, you are in their body, male or female, you don't need to tell me, I don't care. That's not the point of this conversation. Do they have the right, so we, do they have the right to kill you? Yes and no. Okay. No, if they, they don't have the no, they don't have the right if it's consensual. But if um, it's not okay, so let's use that because well, that's the only one that's relevant, right? Because this is a baby. This baby did not consent to being harmed. But the woman did not consent to being raped either. Okay, let's okay, let's use this. Let's remove rape from the table. Let's deal with 99 point, more than 99 percent of abortions, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say rape, incest. Let's take it off the table. All right. So then you would say that the vast majority of abortions, based on your standard of what is a life, yeah. people who abort when they are not raped, when it is not non-consensual, that that is morally wrong. Yeah, yeah. And there, and there, I completely agree with you. But okay. I would have to say I'm more pro-choice just because of that certain. Well, hold on a second. You're more pro-choice because of one percent. Less than one percent, but you're pro-life, so you don't think a woman should be able to abort if it was a consensual uh, sexual engagement that resulted in a pregnancy. You don't think abortion is a is a. There, in that instance, I, I do not think it's okay because I think there are okay. a lot of people that abuse the fact that they can abort. And, That's uh, the vast majority of abortions. Yeah, and that I, I'm actually against that, but okay. just because of that certain situation of the, of the the people being raped for that reason, I would have to that subside to. So because of a very, very small percentage of people, um, rather than allow other choices, because you say you're pro-choice, I'm pro-choice too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pro-four choices, right? Mm -hmm. Abstinence, adoption, pregnancy, contraception. I'm just not pro-killing, right? There's a fifth gotcha. choice. Yeah. So you're saying I'm pro-killing if there's rape involved. Um, and if you want to remove the extreme examples and say that you're pro-life and all other examples, that's fine. That's not the policy of the platform right now that's pro abortion, yeah. uh, and I respect that you're, you would uh, disagree with many of the people here who consider themselves pro-choice, but uh, that's, uh, that, that's an extreme example. Yeah. So, you know, in that case, I would say uh, no one's forcing a woman to carry a baby. Uh, in that case, I'm simply precluding someone from killing a baby. But again, we're dealing with less than 1% of abortions. So we agree on 99 point something percent of abortions that it's morally incorrect to yeah. end a life. But okay. it's that 1%, I mean, because 1% of... A billion is still 100 million. So. I know, but the 99% is hundreds of millions of babies that have been aborted. I mean, 10, 10 million, I mean, but... It's yeah, but what about the hundreds of millions of babies? You've admitted their lives that have just been ended. I, and yeah, and I agree with you. I, I wouldn't. I say that. I'm saying okay. that's morally wrong. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Pablo. Um, yeah. I appreciate it. Okay. I appreciate thank taking you. the. Thank you, man. Great, great conversation. Thank you very much, Pablo. I appreciate it. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Fine. Thanks. <laughs> This is just for me? Yeah, I can hold it if you'd rather me hold it. No, I'm okay. okay. What's your name? It's Sid. Sid? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Sid. Nice to meet you. Steven. All right, I'm pro-life. Yeah. You can change my mind. I heard. Um, <laughs> or you read. You were on campus. I can read, yes. Yeah. I'm able to read. You were at a very good campus, so I would <laughs> hope so. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Um, I don't, I mean, I'm pretty much, I'm, first of all, it's not pro-abortion, it's pro-choice. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because it's the option to have an abortion or to not. That's what choice is about. So there's an element, I guess, of pro-life that's nece necessarily in pro-choice because you have the option. Okay. Yeah. So are you uh, pro-choice when it comes to what amount of taxes you pay? Or I pay? Excuse me? You what say pro-choice. What does pro have to do with abortion? Um, I, I'll get to it. F philosophically, okay. you said you're pro-choice, it's only about choice. Yes. Would you consider yourself very consistently an advocate of choice and liberty? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so it'd be pro-choice where I could choose what taxes I pay? That's not the same concept. Yeah, no, okay. that's not the same concept. So would you be uh, pro-choice and I can determine what laws I obey? That's not the same concept. I'm so sorry. What I know, I know you laugh, but we'll get to it in a second. Okay, cool. Um, because it's not your choice if it's terminating another life. So it is. it does come it down is. to abortion. Because it here's the thing, pro-choice would apply to everything else, taxes, driving SUVs, carbon credits, it's policy. Not, not, it's not. We're discussing the issue of abortion, right? Yeah, yes. sure. Because I think we would all have differing opinions on choices regarding other issues. In this case, we're just talking about abortion. Okay. Are we pro 
abortion pro right to abort or pro life? Pro right to abort, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Pro right pro right to, right to abort. Okay. Okay. Good. So let's use that term. Pro right to abort. But you can still pro use pro choice. I <laughs> you can use pro choice. That's fine. Okay. I won't. Cool. Okay. Change my mind. <laughs> I'm. Sorry, but what do you want me to change your mind on? Well, I, I, this is the purpose. You sat down here. I'm pro life. So I mean, where why, where am I wrong? <laughs> Where are you wrong? I mean, okay, well, going back to the what you were talking about earlier with the other person, I think there's you're missing an important part of the argument whenever, uh, I think his name was Pablo. Pablo was saying that um, you, can't, like the coma argument, I guess. So okay. can, you, can you go over that again really quickly? Well, I was only bringing that argument because he was talking about defining life. Yeah. So I think the only argument that really matters okay, well, is defining life. Where do you life. define life? That's my question. That's yeah. The, that's the basis of most choice yes. for life. Yes. Yes. Uh, let me let me try and be as clear as possible. I don't want to I don't want to wiggle on this or, or do you feel that I've I've tricked anyone? Sure. Uh, I believe life begins at conception because I believe it's the only consistent line to draw. That's where a unique so genetic do you code, not human DNA. Birth control. No, no. I'm fine. I'm pro birth control. Why are you pro birth control if it can? Yeah. Can let, let me explain to you why. Because preventing conception is different than aborting after. After conception. Is it? Yeah, it is. If that's when the light starts, that so you're purposely preventing the conception from happening, is that not aborting? No, it's not because every time I masturbated, I'd be committing mass genocide. <laughs> Yeah. You could say the same principle. No, see, what you're doing is you're taking a very clear answer no, no, and twisting it to try and no, make it nuanced. No, I, I believe it begins. I believe it begins at conception. There is a life within everyone's uh, genital organs right now. There is a life within every single one's genital organs. Do you mean a separate life within your organs and my organs? Let me ask you this: You're talking about your genitals right now. <laughs> Oh, you sure, said, so, yeah, yeah. so you mean a different life from yours? I mean, um, you're, this is a life. I'm a life. If it goes on your dependent, yes. Personally, I don't believe life starts until outside of the womb. Okay. So. Really? Okay. Yeah. So um, I do believe life begins at conception. You believe life exclusively begins outside of the womb. Correct. Okay. So is it your presupposition that abortion up until the moment it leaves the birth canal is acceptable? Sure. N nine months? Sure. Eight months? Sure. You don't believe that's a life? No. Okay, you haven't changed my mind. Thank you very much. Wait, what? <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, we're not going to find common ground if you're okay with aborting a, a fully, fully sentient, fully uh, I mean, viable it's not baby at nine months. Until it leaves the womb. Yeah, that's just you're not true. Off of the body of another. <laughs> I appreciate it. You haven't changed my mind. I, 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 it'd be hard if you had a is different. But it? yeah, it is oh. with nine months. Oh, if you're okay no. aborting up to nine months, I don't think we're going to find common ground. But I appreciate it, Sid. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mar Marcella. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. What is your name, actually? My name is Stephen. Stephen. Stephen, I am pro life. Okay. Uh, and I am uh, willing to hear the other side of the issue, willing to have my mind changed okay. by a convincing argument. So, I believe that the fundamental of this topic is rooted where life begins, and it's not about. I agree whether to abort or to not abort a living life. It's the discussion is on where the living life begins. Okay. Um, just to start off though, I am actually um, a practicing Catholic. So I myself, my religious views are pro-life, but um, my religious views don't always coincide with my political views and okay. the rights that the constitution grant, grant us. Um, by the it, way, if it, if it makes you, you don't have to look at the crowd. You can just okay, look at me. Cool. That's okay. Yeah, it's it's Sorry. more conversational. It usually doesn't happen. Usually, <laughs> it's just everyone nervous. wants to hurt me. Yeah, you can just look at me. That's fine. I don't. I, I appreciate you. <laughs> take some take some guts to do that. I know um, more people are afraid of speaking in front of public than dying. Yeah. So, and when you do stand up comedy, sometimes both happen. <laughs> I know. But um, I believe that not. I don't believe in pro choice. I believe in the right to abort when it is those extreme cases. Okay. Since it is such a small percent of the population, you said that it was 99% yeah. isn't um, yeah, it's not, doesn't rape come victims. From rape. Yeah. But as a woman, um, I don't know what it's like to be raped. Sure. And I don't know what it's like to have something in my body that I feel like it's not mine. Sure. So I believe that it's not my right to tell that woman 
um, if that she has to have something in her body that's dependent on her to survive. Right. Um, I, it's been argued that a, I religiously believe that a baby is a person so much so that if you kill a pregnant woman, is it, I, I don't know if this is actually Yeah, yeah the, the law it's, can actually count as a double murder. The, yeah. the law counts as a double murder. So religiously, I believe that if you kill a pregnant woman, most likely she wanted that baby. You're killing, you're stripping her of that life that she was nurturing and fostering. But um, there are certain points where before the fetus um, will actually feel the pain and will actually... Um, can I, can I ask you a question? Because yes, you said sir. you were pro-life, except for the extreme instances yes. of rape. Yes. But now it sounds like you're saying maybe you're okay with abortion before pain. I just want to make yes. sure I don't misunderstand. Yes, that, I'm is, misunderst correct. Okay. that is correct. That is correct. Because I believe that you're not... <sighs> when you get raped, you know you got raped. So, like... Right, but we're, but we're getting away from rape now. You're or you mean just, just if the baby can experience pain in the sense of rape? Um, or no, do you, okay. I'm, sorry, I'm working up to it. Okay, sorry, <laughs> okay. I just want to make sure. To, yeah, I'll clear it. I'll okay. clear it up. But like the, the way you build up, like that's okay, kind go of ahead. how like go ahead. My brain is working right now. So when you get raped, you know you've been raped. So I, as difficult as that situation is, I believe that it is your responsibility as a person to go in and get yourself checked out because there is a possibility you might be pregnant and it's your responsibility to do that before a baby inside of you develops that could potentially feel the pain of an abortion. So even in the instance of rape, you're saying only an abortion before the ability for the baby to feel pain? Yes. Okay. And that's where I believe okay. in pro-abortion. And outside of rape, you don't think it's okay at all? No. Okay. That's what I, I wanted to clarify. I morally and ethically believe in that there are other options and you consented in having that responsibility placed upon you. Like middle school, you learn when you have sex, you get a baby. Right. Like it's more than likely. So wow. if you're gonna have sex, you know what your consequences are. And unless you were forced to do it, yeah, I think that you should own up to your response, like your actions. I think that's great. Um, I think that there can be a lot of research, medical research done to find out the most humane way to do it because they're very polarized opinions and there is a, a compromise. The compromise isn't going to make everybody 100% happy, but compromises are usually what's fair. Okay. Um, there's a lot to unpack there, so I appreciate you giving me your, your whole point of view. Um, do you consider yourself liberal, conservative, Republican? I Democrat? don't believe in that. Okay. Well, it's important. Like defining myself. Well, do you vote? Um, I, I haven't turned. Like, I turned 18 after I could vote. Okay. So. Do you plan to vote? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's get rid of the kind of this whole idea, this whole postmodernist, I don't like any labels because you're gonna vote, right? Yes. So it yes. matters what platform you're voting for. Um, I believe it matters what candidate I'm voting okay. for. Okay, well the platform of the DNC, and for example, Hillary Clinton, uh, Bernie Sanders, it's abortion, taxpayer funded, on demand period. Yes. It's not about rape. Okay. Yes. It's not even mentioned. So, um, so it's important to know where you line up and where yes. you're going to vote because that is the platform, that's the legislation we're talking about, right? Well, and right? that's why I want to hear your opinion. Too. Yes. Well, um, and that's why I'm pro-life because I understand that people try to frame the argument as a, let's a take a financial standpoint and a religious. More no, I just I'm anti-killing. <laughs> That's not a smart. That's just my actual position, and it, and it seems that you are too because you've but said you, you believe up it's a lie. But you the financial point, so that's the only reason. Oh, but that's because that's the platform of the DNC. Let's let's remove the let's remove the financial standpoint. Okay. Uh, I believe it was Sid who just said she's okay with abortion up to nine months. Yeah. Well, this is the DNC platform. You see, it was considered a travesty of human justice in Texas, where they said you can't have an abortion after was it? I think it was 22 weeks or 20 weeks. 21. 20 weeks. Okay. Good job. So that's considered the platform that people would be voting for. And it seems to me that you would be very much against killing a baby at 20 weeks. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I say it's important because we're not just discussing extreme examples. When we're discussing abortion, the idea of pro-life or pro-abortion, we are discussing uh, policy and we are discussing as a society whether we are fundamentally a society of life Can or a life of death. Can I on that point before yes, I go ahead. Lose my and then I was going to build to what you were yeah. talking about, but yeah. Um, what? 
what I'm proposing is that we put something new on the table where instead of picking, mm -hmm. we try to reform. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, and, and I would be... Obviously, the taxpayers' dollars would be severely stripped down if 99% of the cases are also stripped down. Yeah. How about no taxpayer paying for any abortions? I, okay, we find common ground yeah. there. See, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find um, common ground here. So we find common ground there. That's important. Um, because well, I don't I don't actually have a stance on that yet because I am not educated enough on okay. that. Okay. So well, I I'm, also don't pay my like. Yeah, you don't pay taxes. Most I'm, people here in school don't. So like I I pay I'm them not for paying. you. I feel like I'm not really entitled to an opinion <laughs> if it's not coming out of my paycheck. That's well. Those Fifty dollars that came guess out. Guess what? Like, one You're going to be a conservative. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, uh, because that a lot of people change their opinion once you start paying taxes, and when you start paying taxes, for example, think of some think of something that really bothers you. Get, just tell me something that really bothers you. Hypocrisy. Okay. Hip, well, hypocrisy is a. Con tell me an action that really bothers you. When like, people are hypocritical. When people are hypocritical. Okay. But like, oh, I don't know. Sno okay, let's use hypocritical. Imagine this. Imagine that you start paying taxes, and you have people who are running for president saying. Actionable hypocrisy, taxpayer funded on demand, period. And they pay for a platform for someone to espouse hypocritical views, and your okay, taxes I'm, are paying for it, right? I don't so, want to sound stupid, but I really didn't understand okay. what you just said. Okay. <laughs> Let's say, uh, that's why I'm saying pick an action, right? The point is when you're paying taxes, and any taxpayer dollars are going to organizations <coughs> that fund abortions, or as where I'm from in Quebec, entire, almost entirely subsidize abortions, it's really important to define what life is, right? Yes. Because tax dollars aren't going just to abortions in perhaps 1% of rate, right? They're going to killing tens of millions of lives, tens of millions of innocent lives outside of rape. I understand that, but if we reform... Yes, I, I understand, but I'm saying but that's not even a, a, a proposal right now. So right yeah. now our options are abortion basically as we know it on demand <laughs> or some kind of reform in which case yeah we'd, you'd vote but Republican. Why, but why settle on picking an option when we can put a new one on the table? I would be I would be open to putting a new one on the table. So maybe we should just change the card. Change the card? No but I'm not I would be I'm pro-life it doesn't change that I'm pro-life but I'm saying if it would save tens of millions of babies I would be willing to put it up no taxpayer funded abortions at least as baby steps but is it uh, ideologically, I is it that into way. intellect? Thank you. Is it intellectually? Is it philosophically consistent? If you say you believe it's a life, uh, but then in the case of of rape, support abortion. Okay, but that's like my own thing. Like I'm like 18. I need to figure that out. Well, I know. That's what I'm trying I, to do. Figure it out. It's, listen, I'm this. trying to match my like religious yeah. views with my sure political and freedom views, but. I'm, that's not my situation. So where I found peace and comfort with my decision is to restrict it and take that first step and then reapproach the conversation. Okay, so let's reapproach that conversation. The rape idea. Like I said, I was willing to concede that territory, but that's what you, you came in to talk about. Our, you've said it's a life. That's why you're pro-life in other cases. Yes, sir. Is the life of a baby as a result of rape inherently less valuable than one that isn't? Um, I, I personally don't believe so, but um, there are millions of people that would argue that it's not a life yet. So if... But there are millions but, of people who believe slavery is okay, it doesn't mean it's okay, I, right? Yes. Yeah. So I don't th I'm, what I'm saying is let's not appeal to the masses. If you yeah. believe it's a life, it doesn't matter if someone says it isn't, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Rachel Dolezal. I can tell you I'm black until I'm blue in the face. It doesn't make me a black man, right? <laughs> You can, people can say, well, because of rape, I don't think it's a life all they want. That doesn't change the nature of humanity, right? And you've already agreed that it is a life. So then that question becomes philosophical. We're really doing more philosophy now. But is the, the question, life of the, 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 the baby as a byproduct of rape less valuable? But something you're not considering is okay. the harm that it could be causing to the mother. But what about the baby? If we're talking about a life, nothing's more harmful than murder. Okay, but also when... That, then that's kind of also bringing in the question of the death penalty because when you're, or like being put in prison, when you harm someone, you get consequences. And I'm, 
but I don't I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, and here's my point. I understand that there's less than one percent of abortions that are. And my wife works at a crisis pregnancy center, right? So she actually helps women. By the way, Planned Parenthood doesn't have the services for people who are out there. If you're looking to actually get assistance, mammograms or child care services, uh, if you want to consider adoption, they don't even have that ability. So she works at a crisis pregnancy center that provides all of those things. Um, she actively tries to help people. She's pro-choice. She's pro again uh, uh, contraception. She's pro. Uh, abstinence, she's pro have a baby or pro adoption. There are four choices there. And so my problem is framing in an argument as though it's pro choice or anti choice for the woman. Um, I agree. Even in that instance, okay, and I've already conceded the territory, but let's go into the philosophy of it. I am not at any point forcing a woman, I would never propose forcing a woman to carry a child. I would never propose a woman uh, to force a woman, forcibly make that woman carry a child. So what are you proposing? I'm merely not allowing this person to kill a child. But that has a, a consequence. You're proposing to yes. force a woman no, I'm not. to carry a child. The forcible act was rape. Now there's a life, which we both agreed. It would be a secondary forcible act to kill that life. And through that act? I think that's where we disagree, so. We might disagree, yeah. But I don't think it changes the nature of that act, right? You're still killing a life. And you're still forcing a woman to have a baby. No, I'm not. I'm and not. No, n <laughs> only one of us is taking a proactive decision. There's already a life. There's already a baby, okay? Yes. I'm merely saying you can't, just as you can, if we agree it's a life, and you did in every other instance, right? This is about the intellectual consistency. You can't kill a life, period. You can't kill a life if it's white, if it's black. You can't kill a life if it's inside the womb, if it's outside the womb. You can't kill a life if it's stray, if it's uh, straight, if it's gay, if it's cis, if it's trans. You can't just kill someone else. That's, that's a violent, you can't take someone else's life, regardless of how they came to be. That doesn't change the essence of personhood, which is life. Rape doesn't change that, it's a heinous act. But I'm not forcing a woman to do anything. I'm merely not answering a tremendous evil, the act of rape, with an even greater act of evil, the act of murder. I partially agree, partially disagree. I think this is kind of, okay. I've ran out of points and I've... No, no, I, I appreciate it. Say. But I, I, listen, I do appreciate, listen, if you are willing to compromise, like I said, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I do want to save the millions of lives that are yeah. aborted. Let me, I think, let me ask you this then. Let's talk about kind of abortion. Because the other lady said nine months. This is, this is not a trick question, okay? So where in this prenatal chart, where is it okay in the case of rape? Because you've said only in the case of rape. So where do we allow the termination of that baby? Keep in mind, most people only know that they're pregnant right here. Can you tell us what you're looking at? It's a prenatal development chart, medical chart. Wait, do you still want to be in that chair? <laughs> oh, you don't have to be. You don't have yeah. to be. I just wanted to, I just, this is just something that's important. No one's for no, you don't no, have to no, be in that he's chair. He's not forcing me. It's okay. Thank you though. Thank you. If I wanted to leave, I would leave. Thank you. I hope you feel I've been polite. I've not no, been No, you've been to... very polite. Okay. No. Thank you. Okay. There's no misunderstanding whatsoever. Okay. I just you know, What's his name? Um I I don't There's know. a wanted poster of me up on your campus apparently. <laughs> I, yeah, probably. I mean I don't know that my opinion would be an effective one just cuz I don't Okay. I'm very bad at science. And <laughs> yeah. I try to avoid it at all possible, so that's okay. why I propose in investing money. If it's such a heated topic that gets the whole country, um, just it, just if it's a conversation the whole country is willing to participate in and waste billions of dollars in production, just putting two old men and angry women in the stands talking about it, I feel that they should also use that money of production to put okay. mo like money into researching this okay. and coming up with a compromise. So well, the reason I, I ask is because I know we talked about Texas 20, where it was 20 weeks. So we both agree at that point, right? Yes. Okay, so I know you said you're gonna be voting. So remember, when someone says it's a travesty for us to not be able to abort after 20 weeks. I know how I'll be voting. Remember that at the ballot box. But thank you so much, Marcella. Marcella or Marcella? Marcella. Marcella, thank you thank so much. You. I appreciate being so special. I'm, I hope you weren't so nervous. I hope. I'm, I'm sorry if I offended anyone. Don't be sorry at all. You didn't do anything offensive. It's, yeah, it's just a matter. Actually, I haven't, because we didn't really get anywhere. I have another question if you would like to. No, I appreciate it. No? No, I'm, I, listen, I've, I, I've done this quite a few times, and if you're okay with abortion up to nine months, you know, the goal is to find common ground and have a conversation. No, I mean, I have another question outside of that, though. 
Okay, I just don't. I don't see how it'd be fruitful if the goal is to see where we agree. Yeah, I'm open. Well, I'm, o I'm open to having my mind changed, but my mind will not be changed to abortion up to nine months. I mean, I can see. That. I mean, hear her out. Yeah, like you don't know yeah. what she's gonna say. Go ahead. Okay. I need the... You can take it, Sid. Okay, cool. Actually, take it away, Sid. Because what a bit what what she was talking about brought up a good, and some other people brought up a good point that essentially an abortion, quote unquote, at nine months is just a C-section, which makes complete sense because the baby can live on its own. It can actually be a baby rather than a fetus. But my question is, what what about after the baby is born? Yeah. Because it's because this whole pro-choice, pro-life argument is. The point of contingency is essentially like what, when a woman has body autonomy, you know what I mean? No. Body autonomy? I know what it means. Yeah. Do you know what, yeah. Yeah, I know what it means. That's not what the discussion's about. It is. That's exactly what a pro-choice argument is. No, it's not. It's about body autonomy. Wait, I'm telling you it is. Wait, how? What do you mean? Yeah, I know you tell me it is, and I had somebody here tell me that they were a man and to use different pronouns. Reality is reality. It's not body autonomy if it's a nine-month-old baby. Because a fetus is literally a parasite. Like, it is sucking the life from a mother yeah. every single day. Like, that's literally what happens. That's not even like... Not a mother, I'm guessing. Like, <laughs> Are you? Sure. I don't yeah, yeah, no. I'm not like the one that. referring to a baby as a parasite. That seems pretty harsh. <laughs> But that's actually what happens. Like I'm not even joking. Like there's yeah, I know. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm not even joking. I'm just not. You're not going to convince me at all as far as abortion up to nine months. So this, I don't understand how this is fruitful. No, but that's that's what I'm saying. It's not a, par a nine month old baby is not a parasite. It's a C-section. It can live on its own. So you're. you're so now you're. In the you're rare saying that, that you change. It is a parasite, which does happen. There's something wrong with the mother. Well, like the baby is literally. Well, hold on a second. Mother. So now you're saying you don't support abortion up to nine months. No, I do. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. At some points, there's like an extreme. But hold on a second. No, it's not a C-section. A C-section is not taking out the, hey, congratulations, you have a baby boy, smack it so it cries, and putting it through a wood chipper. In the chipper. rare cases. <laughs> no, it's not. It's in not. And this is why cases. we're not going to, listen, we've had very civil dialogues. What you want to do That's is, mono is monopolize <laughs> the microphone. You just said a nine-month-old abortion is a C-section. Because you, it's, it's not. Because it's when not you take, it's the question of body autonomy. That's what I'm it's saying. It's not the question of body autonomy. Yes, because you're you know, taking the child out of the body. <laughs> that is what an abortion is. You take the child out of the body. It's not connected to the mother. The, the baby can usually live on its own. It's <laughs> an actual baby at nine months. So whenever, before that. But you just said you supported abortion up to nine months. That's essentially what it is. Like, I'm so, I'm so. Okay, like, okay, let me ask you this really clearly. Are you still okay? Are you still okay with abortion up to nine months? Abortion is taking a baby out of a mother. That's called a delivery. <laughs> when it's called reach full time. No, no. It's called a delivery when it you want it. it and you're considering it a C-section or abortion when you don't. When it's reached full term. Nine months isn't full term? Yes, exactly. Okay. Eight months, seven months. My point is you said you're okay with all of it. Why are we having a discussion? I'm not. But I'm not okay. Are you okay, here okay. to have a discussion though? Yeah, I know. No, I, I am. I, 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 I am, but she's come back after. Fine, 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 and I think other people would okay, have more fruitful that, discussions. That. Okay, so what about this point? What about after the baby is born? What is what is the pro life stance after the baby is born? Well, this isn't the conversation right now. The conversation is, is pro life. Those no, it's the not. The conversation is about abortion. Okay, listen. Let me let me let me read. You. What do you study? The holistic. I'm an English anthropologist. Okay, you're an English. And I can tell. I know exactly what's going to happen. In about two years' time, you're going to be talking about afterward whether uh, pro lifers want to support the child through better health care, through better health care services, exactly a mandate, the, socialized health care. And all of a sudden, it comes to Mrs. Pro Choice is, is pro no pro choice, choice when it comes necessary. to totalitarian Ooh, tax regimes, the right. To own choice. guns, the okay. right to drive an SUV. I'm sorry, yeah, you're not listening. Because you're, you're manipulating the microphone, no, so I appreciate it. Come up and talk. No, no that's, that's, that's my microphone. That's my microphone. That's I paid battery. for it. You're touching me. <laughs> I didn't touch you. That's my microphone. Oh my God. Thank you. Oh my, oh. No. Go ahead. I'm so sorry you didn't want to have a discussion. Oh. You came out, you said you report to report. You have to consider the holistic issues of pro-choice. This why. is what she's talking about, ending at nine months. I don't agree. Like, you have to consider if a mom is healthy enough to deliver the baby, if they can afford Those the are all baby. issues at the point of a nine months. At the point of a nine months. Yeah, we're out of time. We're out of time. We gotta get going. So I appreciate it. Thank you, though. Thank you.
thank you so much to everyone who uh, was respectful and had a conversation. Yeah. Sorry, maybe next, we'll, be, we'll be back for sure yeah. here at SMU. We're not acting up. Y'all won't listen. That makes no sense. You're saying sh- you're not educated. How does that make sense? Go get a yeah. job. Go look at this. Oh, go take class. Go take class. I can't. Where, I'll go get a job. I'll consider it. Hey, did you enjoy this video? Here's the thing. You're over, you're here. This is the end of the. So we don't care because you already watched it. But if you really didn't like it and you want to justify it, leave a comment below telling us why you didn't like the video. And if you liked us, let us know and uh, subscribe to the channel because that lets the overlords at YouTube know that, uh, you know what? You're all right. <laughs>